Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a couple of malicious web campaigns. Over the past couple of days, two stories have surfaced talking about some malicious web campaigns that are enticing victims to drive by download sites. The first story comes as a blog post from one of WatchGuard's partners, Trend Micro. In that post, they describe a big uptake in malvertising affecting a number of popular US sites, for instance, big sites like Answers.com. Long story short, this malvertising that's showing up on sites is forcing victims to something called the Angler Exploit Kit. If you haven't heard of an exploit kit, this is a type of tool sold on the underground that makes it very, very easy for even unskilled attackers to leverage drive-by download kits. And Angler is one of the kits that's been very popular over the past few years and has gotten much more sophisticated. These kits, when you basically visit a malicious site, they'll scan your computer to kind of see what kind of browser and what other third-party software you have like Java or Flash, and then they'll try to find an appropriate vulnerability in their exploit library they can use to gain control of your computer and automatically force malware on your computer. And by the way, Angular's been used to force all kinds of malware anywhere from normal Trojans or downloaders to botnets and even ransomware like Tesla Crypt. In fact, lately there's a lot of Angular exploit kits that are forcing ransomware. In any case, Trend describes how many US sites out there had this malvertising for a period of time and were forcing their victims to these drive-by download sites. Now the second story is similar, but it comes from researchers at Endgame. They found that malicious actors were leveraging typo squatting to entice victims to their malware. For instance, if you type Netflix but you mistype it in a certain way, you might be sent to a malicious site and perhaps that site uses the Angular Exploit Kit or some other kit to push malware to your computer. Now in this specific case, the bad guys were actually using the .om or ohm domain. This is actually the top level country code domain for a real country called Oman. And basically, if you type something like netflix.om, mistyping the com, you might have been enticed to one of these malicious sites, which would then try to leverage flaws to install malware on your computer or to socially engineer you. One of the particular interesting aspects of this endgame research was in this case, it was actually a fake flash installer that actually installed Mac malware that affect OS X computers. Now the good news is, despite the heightened web risk due to these recent campaigns, the tips to actually protect yourself from these sort of drive-by attacks haven't changed. In fact, here are my three favorite tips. First of all, patch your computer, patch your browser, and patch all the other software you use like Flash or Adobe Reader or QuickTime. Really, exploit kits like Angler very rarely use zero-day vulnerabilities. Usually they're exploiting old patched vulnerabilities, sometimes up to a year old. The second tip is actually avoid third-party software you don't need. The days of us having to have Java or having to have Flash on our computer are starting to fade away. I recommend you reduce your attack surface by not installing them at all. Finally, one of my favorite tips for web-based attacks is plugins like NoScript. If you use Firefox, you might have heard of NoScript. Many of these attacks require some sort of active scripting, whether it be ActiveX or JavaScript. They definitely often require things like Flash and Java. And by default, NoScript makes it easy for Firefox to deny all scripting. Now granted, a lot of legitimate sites need things like JavaScript, so NoScript also makes it very easy to whitelist certain domains that you do want to trust. Now if you don't run Firefox, you have more limited choices. However, if you're a Chrome user, there's things like uBlock and ScriptSafe, which provide similar and sometimes even better functionality. Now the only problem with this tip is Internet Explorer doesn't really have a feature-to-feature -feature comparison to NoScript. There's ways you can make it more secure by using security zones to avoid automatically running script on certain domains, but it's actually much more cumbersome to set up. So I really haven't found a no script or U block comparison for Internet Explorer. I will say if anyone out there knows a good tip for uh, preventing script by default in Internet Explorer while still letting normal sites work, I'd love to hear it. So definitely write in or at least in the comment section of this video. So anyways, if you use those three tips, you patch immediately, you uh, don't install unnecessary software, and you use browser tools like NoScript or uBlock to kind of avoid active scripting on most sites, you're going to be relatively safe from drag.
drive by downloads. Now, I still recommend you use network security controls like gateway antivirus and advanced threat protection to sometimes catch the malware that might leak through your defenses. Nonetheless, I still recommend you implement the three tips I mentioned as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.